Hi, I'm Brittany Umar and welcome to The Nooner, presented by The Village Poorhouse, where we haven't seen so many old men in important roles since Cocoon. That's right, tonight Pedro Martinez will face Andy Pettit in Game 6 of the World Series in the Bronx, with a combined 75 years between them. And Pedro went ahead and brought Red Sox Nation into the mix. I know they don't like the Yankees to win, not even in Nintendo games, he said. Obviously referring to the time Smitty from Somerville famously cheered when Don Mattingly died in the final dungeon in Zelda. Pedro added, I consider myself a Bostonian. I've been a Montrealer, a Bostonian, and a New Yorker, and I might become a Philadelphian now. Meaning now, everyone on the eastern seaboard has a reason to hate Pedro Martinez. Except the Quebecois, of course. They're politely indifferent. Well, Mark Teixeira has been slumping, and several local papers have suggested that he could be struggling with the pressure in his first postseason. Of course, he seemed fine with the pressure in his actual first postseason last year, but hey, if the Yankees don't play in it, it doesn't count as the postseason. Anyway, Tex took extra batting practice yesterday to try to right the ship. Hitting coach Kevin Long said he looked fine mechanically, and the only problem he could think of is that Teixeira hasn't yet slept with Kate Hudson this postseason. According to the Daily News gossip section, Nick Swisher is known to go out to clubs and flirt with women. Oh my god, a professional athlete? And Nick Swisher, of all people? What a scoop! Meanwhile, the Phillies insist that reports of infighting between Cole Hamels and Brett Myers were overblown. The club says when the players cursed each other out in front of reporters on Monday, they were just joking because they're close friends. And that makes sense because Hamels is the type of guy who reads the Twilight books and carries his dog in a backpack, and Myers is the type of guy who beats his wife in public. Also, Shane Victorino may be forced to sit out tonight with a sore finger after being plunked by A.J. Burnett on Monday. My advice to Victorino? Why don't you just ask any baseball fan outside of Philly for help? If you need a finger, I got one for you right here. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell went to Washington yesterday to ask Congress for anti-doping help. Ironically, all he found were dopes. And in late night hockey action, the Rangers got into a 10 on 7 brawl with the Canucks last night that resulted in five 10 minute penalties, one to Vancouver's Shane O'Brien for poking Sean Avery with his stick. Afterwards, O'Brien said, What? He's into fashion. I just assumed he'd be cool with it. I think I'm done here. Hit it.